Rockstar Games themselves just leaked Grand Theft Auto 6. That's right, we'll be talking about all that in this video today and a whole lot more. So Grand Theft Auto 6 seemingly has been leaked in every way imaginable, whether its trailer was leaked and posted online about 12 hours before it was supposed to officially be revealed to the massive 2022 September breach where 90 plus clips were posted online of early development footage, whether it was the actual announcement of the trailer being released in early December 2023. Just about everything regarding Grand Theft Auto 6 has been leaked, but what's important is none of those have come directly from Rockstar, at least not intentionally. Obviously, the breach, they didn't want that to happen, nor do they want their memos that are sent to office employees to be breached and leaked out as well. But Rockstar themselves have never done the damage on their own, at least until today. Today is September 17th, 2024. It is actually the 11 year anniversary of Grand Theft Auto V releasing on consoles on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, which is kind of ironic that this is happening, but they actually just leaked their GTA 6 folder on PC. Now we need to back up a little bit because you're probably wondering, okay, what's going on here and why did Rockstar leak Grand Theft Auto 6 on PC? Well, it's because just a few minutes ago, they put out a new security focused title update for GTA 5 and GTA Online on PC. So essentially the Rockstar Games launcher received an update. And you can see that it is title update 1.69 and Rockstar have added some updates for September 17th, 2024 for PC specifically. They integrated BattleEye anti-cheat for GTA Online. We'll actually talk about that in a little bit and how it re relates to GTA 6. An option has been added to the Rockstar Games launcher to disable BattleEye anti-cheat for story mode play. The launch argument, no BattleEye has been added to disable BattleEye anti-cheat when needed on third-party launchers and story mode play, and fixed an issue that resulted in crashes while playing GTA Online, and fixed an issue that resulted in players being unable to accept invites or join other players. So this update was just supposed to be for GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto Online, but what happened is Rockstar accidentally left in folders of titles that they were working on. Now, since this has come out, Rockstar Games is aware they made a mistake and included the likes of GTA 6 in here. So they've actually removed it. But for a long time, you could actually see three folders which should not have been there. There's an America's folder, GTA 5 Gen 9 folder, and a Red Dead Redemption folder. And if you're wondering where's GTA 6, Project Americas is the code name for Grand Theft Auto 6. This is what is used internally by Rockstar. And I'm sure the next question that many of you guys had was, okay, is there anything inside of the folder? Is there any juicy details in there, whether it be trailer two, screenshots, or just information on the game or the actual game itself? The answer is no. Uh, that is actually the folder where the game saves are stored for Rockstar games on PC. And the Americas folder is empty because obviously there's no saves. GTA 6 is not out yet. So for whatever reason, the launcher created the save folders for all of their PC projects, which is definitely a mistake on Rockstar's end, but it isn't something that, you know, is going to reveal essentially all of their secrets. Now, Spider Vice on the GTA forum site ended up clarifying what really this meant saying to be slightly more technical, the launcher update from this morning included metadata files for all of Rockstar's current PC projects, including work in progress, which made it so the launcher created save folders for them as if they were valid released games. GTA 6 is still America's because it's still in the development environment. Nothing precise, still too early in development, to have anything interesting, but Red Dead Redemption and GTA 5 Gen 9 had more information because they're probably in active development to release at some point. Personally, none of these are surprising. I did expect them to bring Gen 9 stuff to PC at some point, 
And remember, GTA 5 also leaked in a Social Club SDK update in 2013 slash 2014. So now breaking this down, what does this all mean? Well, for us fans that have been following Grand Theft Auto 6 for a long time, it is the official confirmation that Grand Theft Auto 6's internal code name is Project Americas. That was actually the first leak for GTA 6 that turned out to be real, Project Americas, and describing essentially the layout of the game, where it was going to be taking place, what the storyline was going to be like, etc. And we also knew that it was called Americas based on the September 2022 leaks when all of the 90 plus video clips were posted online. But again, Rockstar never meant to have that see the light of day. Someone literally hacked into their system. This is the first time that they've like published something and whether they did it accidentally or not, they still put it out there and it confirms that GTA 6 is Project Americas. Now, it also confirms, and this should be fairly obvious, that Grand Theft Auto 6 is gonna be coming to PC at some point in time. It's obviously not going to be there on day one. It might not be there on year one, but it will be released on PC at some point in time. Now, as far as the other two games that were mentioned, Red Dead Redemption on PC, that we know is going to be coming. And Rockstar essentially have doubled down on that. Because in this update, Rockstar accidentally included the metadata for Red Dead Redemption 1 PC with today's launcher update 2. And because of this, Red Dead Redemption on PC now has a separate Steam database app as well. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It dates back all the way to October 2023. This is insane that we now have a Steam app ID for this game and a Steam database page too. It's honestly one of the worst kept secrets in the games industry at this point, all because Rockstar keep leaking it themselves. So it looks like Rockstar will be releasing that title on PC fairly shortly, and it also looks like GTA 5 on PC is gonna be getting all of the Gen 9 updates that we have on console. So think PS5 and Xbox Series X and S. There's a handful of updates that we have on that version of the game that the PC version does not have. So it very much looks like Rockstar is about to catch up the PC version, if that makes sense, to what we have on the consoles as the latest version of GTA 5. So now that all of this is publicly out there, it really just now begs the question, when is Rockstar Games going to talk about all three of these projects? I would say, obviously, at the top of the list, the most important, Grand Theft Auto 6. But right under that, you've got Red Dead Redemption for PC. And if you play GTA 5 on PC, you're going to get new updates as well. So we'll have to wait and see. As things currently stand, Rockstar Games have not talked about it. They have instead just talked about how you can get a new outfit in Red Dead Online, which a lot of people are obviously not all that thrilled with. And the entire comment section is basically like, hey, we saw what you did earlier. Why don't you talk about that? So I'll keep you guys posted, obviously, if Rockstar Games talks about anything new. But let me know what you think about them leaking GTA 6, Red Dead Redemption on PC, and a new version of GTA 5 in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.